Sharon was upbeat, smiling at a nail salon in Beverly Hills yesterday, two days after the actress was granted a temporary restraining order against a 55-year-old alleged stalker. A judge okayed it after the man said he's set to be released from prison in four months. In the document, Sharon says she became terrified after he bombarded her with letters from the psychiatric ward. In one of those letters, she says he asked her to bring him, quote, Two Crown Royal bags full of diamonds, my two CIA badges, $20 billion worth of Department of Treasury checks. She also cites another letter, quote, I have 11 wives picked out and would cause about 18 kids. You would sit at the other head of the dining table. E.T. Today with Rhonda Saunders, an international consultant on stalking and former prosecutor. I think the comments that he has been making in the letters to Sharon Stone about uh, the dinner, about having diamonds, uh, all of these other riches. He is delusional. And just because someone is in prison or in a mental hospital, it doesn't mean that they're getting any treatment whatsoever. Here's the timeline of Sharon's legal battle with the alleged stalker. In 2011, she filed a restraining order against the man for, quote, showing up twice uninvited at her home. In 2013, that restraining order expired. What's the matter? What do you mean, what's the matter? I made a lot of money for you. I want my cut. Stone is best known for her roles in Casino and Basic Instinct. She's also committed to social causes. 